Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and a lot of people have been asking me this and it's how do I make the cartoonish profile picture I have right now and basically this is the tutorial for it. So the first thing you want to do is go into Photoshop and press file new, open up the project setting here, the pixels, select pixels as the unit of measurement and select background contents as transparent. The width and height should be 500 because that's the resolution of our profile picture and yeah, and just press okay once you're done and it should appear right here, there's going to be a square. And so basically what I did is I took a picture of something like I already had a picture of myself basically I use that as the template so you can take like a picture of your body or like your face and your body and then you can make that so here let me press file place once you're done taking a picture or finding a picture of your face here it is look at that so hot dude I look so cute so what you want to do is select on the layer select on quick selection tool right here select on it and then you just want to select your body or your face too and just remove the background so just select your body and your face you see that my hair right there my hair it does not look like the weekend so like i'll just edit that out later but just press ctrl c and ctrl v after you're done so copy and paste and then now i'll remove like the other parts that i didn't remove so let me just press this zoom in tool and let me just zoom in and then here i can just select it again so it might not be able to select so like here there's still a little part left so what you want to do is just take the eraser and put the harness up a little like 10 12 percent and make the size the same around the same and then you just want to um do that and obviously it's pixely and stuff you know they're not like really smooth you can edit that out later with the eraser tool and make it smoother so here as well oh, my eyes are so hot just take this quick selection tool it may not work 100 percent of the time so that's why i recommend you use eraser to here um that won't work so let me just take the eraser here Zoom out a little bit, take the eraser, and then just delete it a bit. And then there, it doesn't look, you know, the best because I'm rushing here. But if you do take your time, it's going to look a lot better than this. Oh, uh, here, let me just put this back here. Okay. And then now I need to fix that hair right there. That looks really, really bad. And I can only do so much because the colors are the same with the background. So I can do only so much with the selection tool. So here, let me just select it. Um, it doesn't look that good because I rushed here. But let me just, oh, uh, control D to just select if you guys want to know. So that doesn't... <laughs> That doesn't look like my hair at all, but let me just add a little black on that because I look really bald. You see that? I look bald on this side. So let me just take this paintbrush and add a little black. Wow, I'm such a good Photoshop guy. Hit me up if you need some edits. Okay, so basically that looks really bad right now. That looks uh, relatively okay, I guess. Then there, there's like that right there. You need to erase that because that just, that was making me angry and um there and so obviously if you want to make it like a plain color on uh, my face and my every, my shirt isn't the same color my face is not blue so what you want to do is select your shirt only this time so i'll select your shirt only so just select your shirt only that's as easy as that and then there i selected my shirt press Control, Control c Control v and there you have my shirt now and now i can change it to whatever color i want so here right right click on the layer and press blending options and press color overlay and you can make it red or whatever color you want. I just like red. And then you can add like a gradient, like lower to like 15 or something. And then there. And then now my face is there. My face and my hair are like not the same color. I don't have black, a black face or black hair, or whatever. So just go to the normal layer where like with, where it has my entire body. And then select on that. And then select the quick selection tool. And then try, just select my face, okay? Just select my face and then control C, control V. And then move it to the top. And then now what you want to do is just try to cut out my hair. Like try to only select my face. That's going to be really hard because like it just selected my entire face right there because I don't know. It just selected my face. So try your best. So let's see. Um, Let's go back a little bit. Okay, that's the best I can do right there. That is the best I can do. So let me press, press control C, control V. Okay. And so let's hide all the other layers by pressing the I thing. Okay. So I only want my face. So let me just delete that side there. And then delete my hair and you can be a lot more precise with the, the racing and all that stuff because that looks really weird and basically just do that until you find the perfect until it's like perfect is what i'm trying to say so you can like find a perfect brush and stuff and then just delete all that stuff and if you guys don't want to go through the hassle of this i'll actually make this for you guys for like two dollars 
just um, email me or message me on any social media. It's like $2 is really cheap for a profile picture, but you can just follow this tutorial. Here, that looks really, really weird. That that scares me right there. Like, I don't have a head. Like, I don't have a brain. Like, a brain. That's really fast. I did this maybe too fast. And then now I can just show all the layers now. Actually, you can delete the last layer. And then you can go onto this, the layer with your face. So, with the, like this, the layer you just did with your entire face, not just your, your hair. And then right click on that and then now you can do whatever color you want whatever skin color you have so here let me show you how to do this so basically you select this this is the color picker and then select on your face press ok okay okay stop there and then right click press blending options press color overlay press the color picker and then press on the side right there and then yeah that's your skin color and press ok press ok okay and here your face now okay press right click on it oh actually that wasn't that was for my hair so my hair is actually black oh oh my god i messed that up my hair is actually black i'll actually want to i want to see how i look like i look like goku in that so like that looks really sick and then now i can do that with my hair oh my god i just messed it up i sounded so cool and then i messed it up okay here there now that's my skin color and now now i can show that and I also want this to be a different color because I don't know. I, I just wanted a different color. Maybe I want a green. I, I never wear green. Let's see. That's really bright. That's too bright. Okay, I don't like blue anymore. Let's choose orange. There we, we got orange and yellow hair. And basically, you can see that there's like a really bad thing right there. So what you want to do is just make a new layer. Just press that note thing at the bottom right. And then you just want to choose the color so do that color picker thing and then just fill it in because um because i did it really fast yours is probably going to be less like less ugly but because i did it so fast it looks like that and then it doesn't fill in properly right here and then basically it takes a lot of time it does take a lot of time and it takes a lot actually a lot a lot of time okay you got to be really precise you got to smooth out the sides as well so with this thing, so it may take a few hours, like an hour. It won't take long like that. And then you can do that same with that. So here I can take um, my, now I select my skin color and then I can go over the yellow. Then I can go here. And then here I can fix that yellow cause that yellow has like a little brown in it too. It's like when you mix paint together, you can see that. There, I fixed it. Okay. There. I think that looks decent. And then the next thing you can do is even add your name. So what I did was I added SV in my profile picture. So here it's a little bit too close. And then I just made it white. And then I I sel select it on the, on the, on the layer. And then all you have to do is press control T and you can like spin in circles. And get dizzy and then and then just like make it smaller and then put it on your side that looks pretty cool so as you can see this is my profile picture by different colors that, that's about it and you can also add a background image so I just press file place and then if ball is life you can put ball is life as ball is life okay you can put whatever background because look here whatever background so basically you just move this to the very bottom and then it's there and if you also want to add a glow effect all you have to do and you just select all the layers. So press control on each of the layers besides the background. Press control E. Okay. That merges all the layers. Press on, right click on it. Press blending options. Okay. Press outer layer. Okay. I don't want to mess up again. So let me just say normally. Okay. So just do that. Select orange or whatever color you want. And then I'll do the same to this inner glow and outer glow and just move it up gradually. And then there and let me just move this up a little bit more a little, little, little bit more and then now you can see the bottom i don't like how that looks so i'll just move it so you don't see the bottom and then now what you want to do is press Control a this is to censor it if you guys want to press the select tool press the fifth option at the top it's align horizontal centers and then the second option is align horizontal centers and then there it is and you can also like Make it darker 
because you may not like how it's, it stands out too much in the background. So just press on hue and saturation and turn on the darkness. So it looks like that. And so yeah, hopefully this helped you out. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed and this helped you out. And show me your profile pictures, tweet me out on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.